I'd like to introduce you to Joe Carcare. Thank you, Michaela, and welcome everyone to today's webinar. And today we'll be speaking about the butterfly offerings that Belimo has in the marketplace. Um, hopefully that can provide you some support for uh, specifically HVAC applications. Again, my name is Joseph Carcare, product manager for butterfly offerings here at Belimo. Today we'll go through, this is just a quick uh, rundown of what we'll look at to see our butterfly valve range, it consists of our different valve types that we have, a little bit about the ordering and maybe some specifics on the specifications. We'll take a look at some of the value or the value propositions we believe we can offer you and you can even offer to your customers and end users. Uh, as far as quality and delivery, some of the innovation that we were bringing to the market, and a little bit of the future of where we're going, retrofit, and then again, just a, a few little highlights on our PR actuator, which is our newest uh, butterfly actuator offering. Take a look at some resources and a bit about our delivery. Um, as stated in the Kind of the overview of this presentation, again, reiterating the title, some of the most comprehensive butterfly offerings for the HAC applications. We really feel here at Belimo we can set, our, set ourselves apart as far as what we offer for butterfly valves in our industry. And some of the offerings that are out there um, sometimes are less than ideal. There could be things anywhere from the close-off pressures you're looking for, a little bit too low for what you need. It could be valve limitations as far as the, the different um, structure or metal that's used, or even temperature limitations. Of course, maybe certain sizes you can or can't get. And the installation, which is also important, once you select this valve and actuator combination, putting it in. Of course, energy, which is another big topic as far as uh, these multiple valves or actuators, how much energy is going to be used. And then, of course, the actuator limitation. And we really feel that some of those offerings can really set us apart. As far as applications, uh, this is by, by far no means the full list. But as far as butterflies go, the key key thing on a butterfly valve is really the flow. They're typically for high flow applications, traditionally water, um, anything from a chiller on an isolation. As far as cooling towers go, it's, it's kind of the valve of choice for a tower. Could be changeover systems, also large air handling units. You might see in some of these pictures here. Of course, bypass, uh, boilers, we use a lot of butterflies as far as on boiler side. Again, all high flow uh, heat exchangers. You can see in some of these pictures here, some very large heat exchangers. These are all typical applications you would see for a butterfly valve that requires a kind of a high flow. And we're, we're talking about flows that are a few hundred gallons per minute. Um, these are our three offerings here at Belimo. We offer our resilient seat valve, which we call our HDNL series. We also have a grooved series uh, that is with our partner Vitalik. And last, we have our high performance valve series or the SHPs. And again, with a partner of ours that is Crane and Flow Seal. Typically all the butterflies will start with a, our part number is a F, and the nomenclature six or seven for a two-way and a three-way. We have a full range of both two-way and three-way offerings on every one of our models that we sell. And secondly, when you when you go to order or purchase something on our butterfly, everything is with the valve plus the actuator, as you can see here. So you would have your valve part number along with your actuation. 
Okay, some of the things you consider as you're purchasing or looking at butterflies could be, can I get a three-way? And again, here at Belima, we offer a full range of three-ways. And you could see in our customizing department, you have many different options of how you want the three-way to be offered. If you would prefer the valves on the left or the right. If you, and as far as our high performance, they're flow specific. Do you want it set up for mixing or diverting? Um, some of the valves can be both. Others can be set at the factory for mixing or diverting, and all that would be specified ahead of time. So again, just to keep in mind, we offer three ways, and they can be built to suit depending on what your needs are at your application. So our HD series, or our L series, which is our newer valve series, they are a resilient seat. This means that the liner inside the valve is a soft rubber, an EPDM liner. Uh, the outside edges or the casting material on our HD and L is made out of a ductile iron. Again, it, you might have a spec that requires ductile. It's a little bit stronger in our, in our opinion for um, just long-term use. You can see we offer two through 12 inch. We offer even some larger sizes of special order, two and three way. We have a whole host of different close off you know, needs that you can obtain either 250 PSI and standard are disc and stem. These would be the insides or what actually touches that media is stainless steel. Um, some companies make them out of stainless or one is stainless, some are bronze, some are coated bronze. Here at Belima, all of our discs and seats or our disc and disc and shaft are stainless steel. And you can see the media temperature range. It's hot and cold water and also glycol and up to 250 degrees. This is just a quick picture to show off where application would be or a typical job site. This happens to be the Nike training facility at the University of Oregon. Uh, we did a whole suite of L-series butterflies with them using our PR and they allowed us to come in and do a little spotlight. In the handouts provided in the links, you'll see the little uh, case study that was written as far as the University of Oregon. I would encourage you to take a look at that. It's a, it's a nice read. Moving along, okay, next type of offering we have is the Grooved series, which is by Vitalik. Um, some of the ideas or the nuances with this are um, the Grooved, you can see here in the picture, no welding, no flange. So as far as hiring a welder, having a staff on a welder, you can avoid that. They all mount pretty simply with some of these clamp connections. The valve bodies are 300 PSI rated. So if the specification calls for something a little bit higher than normal, this might be a valve you would step to. The feet per second, as opposed to our HD series, is a 12 feet per second. This is the velocity of water, how fast it can run through. These can go a little bit higher, 20 feet per second. Uh, 100 to 1 rangeability, and again, 250 degree uh, water. Hot water, chilled water, and again, a little bit of like glycol. And you can see in the pictures, they come in also two-way and three-way. What kind of makes the Vitalik or the Groove Series a little unique, again, they don't require a mounting flange. Um, so it's simply a grooved pipe with a grooved valve and that little clamp connection. And you can see here, this is a chart that was provided to me from Vitalik. And you can see as far as labor costs, quite a bit of savings there to be had by maybe using a groove valve. So again, could be an option in your toolbox or offering. Could be something that you want to reach to because the customer requires that. Or maybe space is a limitation or budget is a limitation as far as welding and not requiring uh, fire certificates to have an on-site welder. So again, this is our Vitalik series. And just a quick picture, this is one of the many job sites we've done. This happens to be at the Scott Trade Center. 
and this was an application that they did that was a brine chiller and you can see here in the picture this is right underneath the tower and quite a bit of uh, space can be saved by just simply clamping up to the valve from there again moving a little bit more sophisticated so each one of these valves we're talking about is is kind of a progression on application or the needs of your customers or end users our shp valves which we i like to call them our super high performance these are kind of a little bit more sophisticated of a valve again sizes from 2 to 24 inch they are a truly ANSI rated valve both 150 and 300 as opposed to our HD has some specifications of an ANSI rated valve but is not a ANSI specific valve so if your spec re requires that this could be a valve to go to uh, you could see here also in the close off pressures can handle from 285 up to 600 psi so very very high pressure water fast moving water uh, these can handle up to 32 feet per second a lot of it has to do with their seat is a reinforced teflon the seats and also the packing can be rebuilt it has some unique features like the double dead end service so these can be put at a dead end of a pipe and be open to atmosphere they're also because of the seat material rated for 400 f media including steam so they can handle uh, up to 50 psi inlet pressure of a steam so very very robust uh, type of valve and you could see some pictures here with larger piping comes higher pressure also we see many times these high performance valves may be at the end of a run or in the boiler room of a large skyscraper Again, all that feet of head or that water column sitting down on that valve require a very beefy style valve. Now, some of the things as far as the spec goes, when you're looking at your jobs and you're seeing the specifications, a lot of the valve choice has to do with the spec. You might read certain things in there about the water temperature. You might see the pressures in there. Uh, sometimes even though the valve required could be an HD or a resilient seat, the specification will say things of these nature as far as stainless steel shafts and discs, um, a little bit as far as the seat material. And you can see here 300 pound working pressure and even moreover you'll see occasionally specific valves listed. The customer really wants to see these type of valves. So all these things have to be considered before picking the valve. If there's no name there, then you can search around. Hopefully you find Valimo. And also, depending on the specification or the pressure, you might end up in a high performance valve. Um, today, a lot of what we do or select butterfly valves for our market is based on the specification. And the specs are slowly moving to try and encompass valves specifically for our market and not industrial. And that's where a lot of the butterflies migrated from the industrial world. And they were designed or over-designed many times for what we actually need in our industry. Which is really why Belimo has focused more and more on designing and offering products that are what we need for air conditioning and heating. Um, one of them being our newest actuator which is a pk it's an electronic fail safe essentially what it allows us to do without a battery backup allows us to get up to about a 12 inch butterfly valve a two-way or three-way which is really an industry first a fail safe valve in that size all self-contained very very cost effective and again being able to change the fail position by simply touching a a phone app now a little bit changing a little bit of gears we talked about all the different valves we have to offer different flavors and different styles um, moving into the actuation side 
we have a full breadth of actuation. Could be anything you possibly would need for your application or budget, 24 volt, 120, universal power, brushless DC motor technology, fail safe or non-fail safe. So I need the power, power goes out, I need this valve to fail all the way open to a tower or close for a chiller, or et cetera. Manual override, so when I have no power, I need to be able to open that valve and get heating or cooling. Uh, fast running time, we have speeds anywhere from 35 seconds up to 150 seconds. Actuators with cables or terminal, NEMA 4 or NEMA 2. So the whole host of actuation you've come to know and love uh, with Bolimo all offered on our butterfly line. Again, really what your application is looking for, we believe we have an actuator that will help you get there. As far as communicating to those actuators, again, as, as the market is changing, there are things uh, like cloud commissioning that is becoming more and more popular. Being able to look at our actuators and then seeing on the cloud, possibly changing the actuator with a computer, like in the case of our PC tool, and then even going beyond that, being able to control our actuators with a cell phone, like our newest PR, being able to change the signal or runtime with a cell phone application, either something from Android or an iPhone. And then, of course, communication styles, things like BACnet moving more and more closer to how we control all of our other valves in a system, the butterflies are moving in that direction, BACnet, um, of course, Modbus, things of those nature. So all of this is coming together little by little for our industry, and we're trying to stay on the forefront and bring you those offerings throughout all of our actuation. If you hadn't joined us on our previous webinars speaking about our PR, it's our newest butterfly actuator, uh, without going through all these details, it's a very exciting actuator for our industry. It has things that we've been looking for for many years as far as lower energy consumption. Uh, quite a bit of these butterflies use a lot of energy. Uh, a smart heater, that has a lot to do with the energy consumption. Many of these valves are outside and as they get cold or humidity, there's onboard thermostats in RPR that'll be turning on the heater and turning off the heater. And of course, everything on our butterfly line, we are shooting for zero leakage. Quite a bit of water behind some of these valves. The last thing you need in your system is your butterfly to be leaking. And not just on day one, but day two, et cetera. Now, if New isn't an option, sometimes new is not an option, or maybe it's a mixed bag, possibly retrofit. We have a whole line of butterfly retrofit possibilities, and I would encourage you later on in the next month or so, we'll have a retrofit webinar, and it'll get in more detail, but we have a whole retrofit line where we can take any one of those actuator assortments, provide a linkage, and put them on your butterfly that's already in the system, whether it be a Bray or a Nibco, a Keystone, et cetera, we have some sort of linkage that we can put on there. We have a whole host of different tools that are out there to help you support either quote, specify, et cetera, your butterfly needs for HVAC, whether it's our website, um, we have our flyer, which again is attached to the link of the handouts. This gives you the whole breadth of the products that I've been speaking about today, whether it's our HD, our Groove series, or high performance, all in one flyer. So you can really see the different offerings we have. We have multiple YouTube videos. Of course, all of our valve or butterfly valve size and selection can be done in our Select Pro software, which you see here. Speaking again about the applications, we have various apps now in the Play Store or um, the iOS Store. So different case studies, like the University of Oregon, there's a few others out there. You can really see what Bolimo is trying to do 
with our marketplace and hopefully we can do it and help you along 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 the way now a lot of that is all well and good as far as the different offerings and what you can see in the catalog but being able to deliver on it that's that's another important task many of our buildings come together sometimes at the last minute the pipes are run um, and the butterflies need to be there when they need to be there you can see our delivery options we carry quite a bit of inventory uh, 2 to 12 on our west coast office in Sparks Nevada as well as 2 to 24 sizes in our Danbury facility and we'd like to try and keep all of our butterflies moving anywhere from a two or three day delivery which again is the delivery that Belimo has always shot for but also in these very large valve sizes so what can we really bring as far as value for our marketplace with using Belimo's butterfly offerings comprehensive product product line delivery and service electronic fail safe options grooved valves retrofit offerings advanced communication styles all backed by a five-year warranty and this is really where we want to be for our marketplace and with that i very much thank you for joining our webinar i hope you got something out of it and maybe found a tool for your toolbox on your next butterfly job whether it be with Belimo, just knowing what's out there for our industry, hopefully it will make you a stronger and better purchaser or specification writer. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much, Joe. So just as a friendly reminder, if you'd like to ask questions or make a comment, what you would need to do is open your question box, type in your question. I will read them aloud and Joe will answer them as best as possible. Um, we are on a little bit of a time constraint, so I might not be able to get to everyone's questions, but don't worry, we will reach out to you and respond as quick as possible. So friendly reminder, we do have two handouts, the Oregon case study, as well as the product line uh, flyer for you to download today. And this webinar has been recorded and will be posted to our Belimo YouTube page. Joe, are you ready for some questions? I am, yes. Okay, the first question is, is the cycle rating based upon the valve design or actuator capability? Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of both, actually. Uh, typically, it is the actuator. Some of our actuators can be 100,000 cycles, and where others are possibly 30 or 40,000 cycles. Some of that has to do with the valves they go on, and of course, the size of the valves. So some of our valves that have maybe a softer seat, like our EPDM, may only be rated for 30,000 cycles. And then that same actuator by itself would be 100,000, but on a high performance, it might be derated to 60,000. So it's a, little, it's a little bit of both. Great, thank you. What is the coldest outside temperature that the valve slash actuator is rated for? Um, many of our valves are rated to minus 22 F. Uh, minus 22, and I want to say as high as 250. What does the five year warranty cover? Uh, again, along with all of our five year warranty products, the first two years are un unconditional and the next three are with condition. Um, that would be anywhere from the valve all the way down to the actuator, uh, the linkage, et cetera. So some of the products that only carry a two year would automatically fall into our conditional warranty if they have the five year. Again, it's the two and the three. And it covers the whole product line. What type of accessories do you offer for butterflies? Um, we have quite a few weather shields, so possibly if you have a, let's say, an AF spring return and wanted to put a weather shield, we have a whole uh, selection of weather shields, end switches, um, potentiometer offerings, uh, even battery backups for some of those very, very large actuators that 
that don't come in a fail safe, we have battery, battery backup options also. On a three-way butterfly, the master is installed on the run. What does what goes on the run mean? Um, <laughs> on the run is actually the the straight through. So if you were to look at a T and draw yourself a T, the top of the T is what we refer to as the run. Um, and the let's say the pipe sticking out the side, we call the branch or the bull. Can you mount the valves upside down? Um, specifically, the PR is one of the actuators that you can mount upside down, as long as it's inside. So if a valve is mounted inside, and specifically our PR actuator, which is NEMA 4, if it's mounted inside, it can be mounted upside down. What information can you get from the valve by connecting BACnet MSTP? Oh, going off of memory, um, there are about 12 different points that you can see, and we have a PIC statement that's on our webpage that would really specify all those different points. It could be anything from relative position or absolute position, temperature sensor readings, um, of course, the speed and runtime and things of those nature. There's about 12 different points that you can see. And I'm going to do a last call for questions. I realize we didn't get to everyone today, um, but as I said earlier, just because we didn't answer them on air doesn't mean we won't get to them. Um, you should be expecting an email from us uh, shortly to address your comments and questions. But the last Absolutely. question I'm taking is, what is your take on controllability using a butterfly valve? Uh, good question. Um, generally, we feel if you were to look at a flow curve on a butterfly, that between zero and 60 degrees opening on a butterfly valve is really where you get your best controllability in a curve. And if you really were to plot those points, it's not as bad as many people think. It might not be to the level of a globe or a butterfly, but it's pretty good as long as it's within that 60 degrees. We feel through testing and design, we've seen anything over 60 degrees is pretty much wide open at that point, and then the controllability you start to lose. So we're pretty confident it's, it's, it's still a decent control valve within that zero to 60 degree range. All right, thank you everyone for taking time out of your day to join us on today's webinar. Our next webinar is going to be on the 12th of September at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and that's going to be five steps to HVAC retrofitting. Thank you, Joe, for an excellent presentation, and I want to wish everyone a great day. Thanks again. Thank you.